Let's check out how to make this glitch logo animation here in After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'm going to go with 1080p, 3 frames per second, 3 seconds, rename it as Final Comp, and click OK. Select the Type tool, type in something, press the letter S, and scale it up. And let's select the text layer and we're going to need to duplicate this. So press Ctrl D a lot of times. I'm going to create like nine copies. And what we're going to need to do is mask every each in pieces. And for that, what I'm going to do is go and select the proportional grid. So now I can go and select the rectangle here and I'm going to select the first text layer. And here I'm going to select this area. Basically, it's going to need to fall into this area here where the proportional grid crosses. Now I'm going to go and select the second layer and I'm also going to go and just select it like this. It doesn't need to be perfect. And let's go on third layer and I'm going to select this area. I'm also going to distort it a little bit more. And let's go on. Now I'm going to start here at the fourth grid. All right, so now we're at the last one. I'm going to select the last one. And check this out. When I'm going to select it, it is going to look something like this. So, for example, in your situation, if you don't have it correctly, for example, let's say I'm going to select the mask on this. And for example, if you have it something like this, you know, you can just select the selection tool, make sure to select the mask here. And now you can select one of these anchor points and just drag it and rearrange it however you like. Just make sure the text is going to look complete. All right, so I'm going to press Ctrl A to select all, press the letter U, and now press the letter P for position. And here we're going to go here to the first second. Let's activate the stopwatch at every each. I'm going to bring it up and let's bring this here at the beginning at the zero second. And what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to go and select the first layer and I'm going to bring this up. Now let's select the second layer and repeat the same step. I'm going to bring this up and so on and so forth. For example, we've got the number six. I'm going to drag it on the left. Number five, for example, at the bottom and so on and so forth. This one at the right. After you're done, let's go and select all the keyframes. Right click on it. Go to keyframe assist and select easy ease. Now let's go and click on the graph editor. Select all the anchor points at the right and let's go and drag the handle on the left. I deactivate the graph editor. Now what we're going to, need to do is right click on all the layers. Let's go and select pre-compose, rename it as text, click OK. Let's go to effects and presets, search for shift channels and drag it on the text layer. Now I'm going to select the text layer, press Ctrl D twice. Let's go and select the first text layer here at the top. Let's go to shift channel and we're going to turn off the red and the green. Now let's go and select the second text layer and here we're going to turn off the red and turn off the blue. Select the third text layer. Here we're going to need to turn off the green and the blue. And let's go and select all three of them and we're going to go and click on the toggle switch here. So now I can see the modes, click on the mode and select add. And here all you need to do is just delay a little bit the second and the third layer. So let's go and check it out. Hit play. As you can see right now, it's kind of boring. So I'm going to go and double click on the text layer here. So it's going to open up all the text and we're going to need to delay them. So for example, I'm going to delay the very first one a little bit more, the second one a little bit less and so on and so forth. So it's going to mix it up and it won't look that boring. So let's go back, hit play and now it's better. You also can delay it even more if you want. And also let's go and create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to bring it on the top, right click rename effects and let's go to effects and presets, search for time displacement, I drag and drop it on the effects layer and here let's go to the max displacement and I'm going to decrease it to 0 0.2 and the time resolution on 60. So now it's going to look a little bit more interesting. Let's search for glow drag and drop the glow under the time displacement and I'm going to add 150. Also search for noise and drag the noise under the glow. And I'm going to increase it to 70. Now let's go back, hit play and that's how it looks.